This is good for us, you know what I'm saying? Do a donut. Do a donut. Do a kickflip. Because, like, why have you had that one before? Like, what's been stopping you all this time, you know? I don't know. Money. Gotcha. What is this? Some kind of snowmobile interview? <laughs> yes. Funny no, this is this that. is the whole video, bro. Like, this is great. Just, like, some dudes fucking around outside, you know what I'm saying? What up? What's up? Sorry, I heard you were looking for me. I, I got uh, swindled into getting in here. You know what's funny? Well, Fucking get him in the back seat. Here somewhere. What's up? My phone's definitely out here somewhere. Are you serious? Yeah. How? I think it fucking fell in my pocket. I didn't fucking think to like put it down, but it's definitely out there somewhere. All right, get in. We gotta go look for it. We're looking for a blue phone. Blue phone. I don't know. We whipped a couple of shitties already. Right. It might be buried. No, I'll be fine. Might be crushed. Might be buried. Might be right out there. Let's see what we can do. What you? How? It was only with a snowmobile. It was only with a snowmobile. So it's probably like you know what I'm saying. Yeah. Yo, Ollie. Yeah. What you about to do, bro? Uh, fucking whip some donies, maybe a couple brodies. Only thing the PT crew is good for. Fuck yeah. Can't find it inside. Oh, inside? Well, yeah, I thought maybe you left it on the table or something. Could you have left it on the table? I took the back. I didn't see it. Looking for, uh, if you see Jamiron's phone out here, it's probably out here somewhere. Really? You lost yeah. it? <laughs> like, really, really? Ring, like, really, really, yeah. Ringer on? Uh, <laughs> okay, imagine this, but like everybody was drunk too. <laughs> I'm sure they do, but it's gonna be a dollar source. But... You think they're a dollar? I think you're a dollar. Oh, okay. oh a car hood. A car. <laughs> That's actually, that's actually like a hard to come by beast, even though it's sitting outside. Just throw it on the ground quick, cheesy slide. Toe hook right there. Get your foot off there. Oh, yeah. Is it back there because it don't got enough fuel, or? That's easy, huh? Hell yeah. Is that the best way to put it? Yeah. Yo, Ollie, chill. Nice beard. Fucking a wall through the white. Yo, Brandon, that looked cool, though. There is a my dumbass face. There's ice on your lips. And I think me losing my phone played a big part of that because I couldn't just constantly just kind of check my phone and be on social media either. So today, I really, I felt... I felt real. Right up. What do you think it's for? Yeah, I forgot to roll the windows on. Sorry about that. What? It's still <laughs> fucking on. It's still on. What? Dude. Oh my <laughs> god, dude. It's fucking I'm incredible. Fucking... Holy shit, dude. Yeah, what the fuck? I'm nice, bro. J what? Diesel, where did you. Where was it? I don't know. I you just like, saw holy it. Shit, motherfucker, yeah. And it's still on and like. 
What the? What's the battery? Oh my god! Oh my goodness, man! What's what a battery? fucking day! It's still at the same percent, thirty-five. It was at like forty. And his phone is indestructible. My clearly, phone, I dropped my phone. My phone is fucking indestructible, man. This that was solely this solely happened to teach you. We didn't so even I can enjoy, lose. so I can not be looking at my fucking phone while we were enjoying all that. Yeah. That was the reason, because our day's our day's pretty much over. Right. Now it's back. <laughs> For the first time in a long time, I felt fear, like, like actual, like that, that guttural, that like, that very undeniable, like primal fear of something that you might get when you're a kid, like your heart drops. Yeah. When I was on the snowmobile, especially the first time, and then when I was out over there, like, even once I got used to that feeling, like, it was just like unlike anything I've ever done. In a lot of ways, I felt fearless. Like, I felt very powerful knowing, all right, I can control this, I'm gonna be fine. Yeah. And like I said, I've been, you know, trying to find things that make me fearful or things that worry me or things that make me uncomfortable and tackle them. And this is something that's unlike any other kind of fear. It was something that I didn't know would scare me and it didn't like scare me exactly, it just was like a, it reminded me that I was human, like that instinct that like, mm -hmm. there's something to be fearful of. But then, as I kept getting better and better at it, and knowing when to turn and how much to push it, that fear dissipated. And it feels very freeing when you're able to dissolve fear within yourself like that.